Hey everybody, <clears throat> how's it going? It's Banky here. Uh, just uh, tonight, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solder up this uh, clap on and off switch circuit. Uh, let's hope it works out when I'm done. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope everyone has had an awesome weekend. Uh, if you do like my videos and or if you get anything out of them, uh, please feel free to hit the like button and uh, subscribe. And I'll try to get some more uh, cool, interesting stuff out there. Like I said, I'm kind of new at this whole video thing. Um, so hopefully they get better as I um, make them. <laughs> but uh, anyhow... Um, I decided for every 100 subscribers, since I have zero at the moment, I'm going to do a giveaway of something cool, either a kit or maybe a soldering tool or maybe a multimeter, something cool for every 100 subscribers. So keep that in mind. Um, maybe you'll get a cool prize out of it. Um, and what else? Yeah, so without further ado, this is the kit. It's a Velman kit. Um, let's see, the level is a level two of difficulty, so I don't know, this might be pretty difficult for me, we'll see. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here, enough talking from me, I sound pretty corny, don't I? Let's see if I can get some clippers up in here. little stuffed up at the moment so I apologize all right so here's the board itself here's the pack of goodies resistors diodes a xeno diode oh instructions here we go all right let's see what we got here Alrighty. Guess I might as well start with the resistors, right? Alright. Alright, so let's start with resistor one and re Resistor one through four or ten Ks. Here we go. Brown, black, orange. So one, two, three, four. All right. My skizzards. So we'll do the ten K resistors first. Is one through four. Just bend the leads. All right, where are we at here? All right, here's one. Two. And the three. Come on, number three. All right. And last but not least. Number four. All right. Let's uh, get these bad boys soldered in. Been a bit of a long week. Just finished up a job over the bridge in Gig Harbor today. 
had to rewire a 1950s house. If you can imagine the electrical on that, it was a bit of a jab. But we got it finished with the little hiccups. And uh, I'm glad to be done with that job and on to the next one. Gonna be starting a commercial job here at Fred Meyer here in a, next week. Can't wait for that. <laughs> a little bit of a change anyway. Never mind that. Anyway, so what do you guys think? Have you any of you guys done this on and off circuit, on and off uh, switch light circuit? I got to be honest, um, I didn't order this online because I thought it was super cool. I was just kind of browsing offer up, and this guy had a bunch of them for sale, and I got <laughs> I got two of them for fifteen bucks. So I was like, you know what? That might make a cool video. So. I went ahead and called him up and said, hey, give me two of them. And I drove out there and I met him and I bought two of them. And I just gave him 20 bucks just because it was a pretty good deal. These things retail for more than that. So, And I was thinking it would make for a decent uh, video. Because I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like watching these kinds of videos of circuits being put together. I got some surface mount stuff coming up. Um, hopefully next week that I'll be doing. Um, but yeah, that won't be till next week. Why did I bend the leads like this? Spanky, you know better. Obviously Spanky's not my real name. In case you guys are wondering, my name is Garrett. I just picked the name Spanky Pancakes because... Uh, it's random, and it's funny, and I'm a random funny guy. Can't you tell? Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Are you guys laughing at me yet? <laughs> All right, what do we got next? Okie dokie artichoke. So resistor 5 through 9 are 100K, so that should be brown, black, yellow. I believe they're probably all in order. Yeah, brown, black, yellow, brown, black, yellow, and brown, black, yellow, and a bunch more brown, black, yellow. Here we go. Let's cut them up big Clive style. Big Clive style, baby. Yeah. All righty. Where's five heads? Five. Six. Seven. Hopefully my head's not in the way. Sorry if it's been in the way. Uh, where is number eight? All right, well, I can see nine. So I'll put nine in. Where you at, number eight? I know you guys are, I know you guys can see it. And you're saying right there, dummy. It's right there. 
where? So we got 18, 17, 12, 16, 10, 15, 14, oh, 8, right in front of my face. <laughs> Please don't laugh at my dyslexia. <laughs> Only I can laugh at my dyslexia. I'm just kidding, you can laugh all you want. I'm good with it. Okay. This is this painful for you guys? Because it's getting painful for me. I'm tired. But I need content. I desperately need content. And this here is a little bit of content. So, if you're wondering, I'm using my Hacko 936 station. You wouldn't believe me if I told you where I bought it and how much I bought it for. But yes, I did find it on OfferUp. And a woman was selling it for $10. Yes, folks, 10 bucks. I don't know if her husband had had it or what, but you could tell they bought it because they're probably getting into the hobby and used it once and put it in a box in the garage for a few years. And to my luck, it was on offer up for $10. So I went ahead and I uh, emailed her and said, I need that and I need it right now. <laughs> so... Needless to say, I went out there and I was more than happy to hand over $10 for a mint condition Hacko 936, an actual Hacko 936, not a Yoohoo or whatever those things are. I'm not ragging on them, but I have had them and um, they didn't last very long. So I'm stoked to have the, uh, the original Hacko. Uh, I do usually prefer Weller, but... This is the first time trying out this 936 station, and uh, I gotta say, I like it. It melts the solder. It melts it nicely. Alright, I'm gonna get a bit of a solder bridge right here, but I'll have to fix it afterward. Now there you go, solder bridged up. Right. I'll fix that off camera. But yeah, I can see the solder bridge right there. Don't worry. Okie dokie. What do we got next? Next we have resistors 10 through 12, and those are 1K, so that's going to be brown, black, and red. All right. Brown, black, and red, that's what she said. Uh, how many of you guys think I should be a comedian? Raise your hand. Nobody? Oh. 
Okay, I'll take a hit. Eleven. And numero one of those. <laughs> I mean, twelve. One, two. Numero one of those. That's my attempt at Spanish. Gracias. Banana. We need to start putting food on our families. <laughs> uh, I don't know if anybody will get that quote. But if you do, it means you uh, are part of my generation. Okay, whoever gets that quote, I will personally send you, what will I send you? I will personally send you some free, a free 10 ounce tube of solder paste. How's that sound? And it's good solder paste. I use it all the time. <sighs> oh, come on. You know, I can't say, I'm not very impressed with this Oster tin lead rosin core solder wire. You get the six pack of this on Amazon. And I gotta tell you, these lids are complete crap. You gotta pry them off with all the force you can possibly get. Half the time they, half the time they break when you finally get them off or you bust the tube to get them off. And the solder just freaking falls right back in there and you gotta do it all over again. Um, that's, that's one complaint about this. The other complaint is I don't believe it's 60, 40, um, because the melting temp of this stuff is much higher than any 60, 40 I've ever had. Um, I won't be buying this again. I don't recommend it, but you know, I'll use it. And that's not the only problem. You don't get as much as they say you get. These don't weigh out. None of these tubes weigh out to what they should. All right. Enough, enough biatching and moaning. It's really not that big of a deal. But I just thought I should let you know. Pro tip. Don't waste your money on it. Buy a good name brand. A good name brand. Okay. Sorry, my big fat head got in the way there. Alright. Yeah, I know an uh, on and off clapper light switch isn't that exciting. I mean... It's actually kind of exciting for me because I've never actually owned one before. Um, whether it's been bought pre-made or it's been a kit, I've never owned one. Um, so I'm kind of excited to play with it when I'm done. I'll probably end up giving away for a Christmas present or something. Maybe build a little project box for it so it's in line to whatever, whatever lamp they want to use it with. Um one build I really want to do <laughs> is a Heath kit radio from the fifties. If I could get my hands on one of those, that would be a freaking dream come true, man. I don't think I'm going to find a complete kit in the box for anything less than way more than I'll be able to afford to pay. But who knows? You never know. Something might come up. One of these glorious days. 
Oh man, Fram Lab. She does some of the coolest stuff. Those Heath kits she's done, those are so cool. And those reviews on the all the cool old vacuum tube stuff, man. This stuff is so cool. I was actually researching um, one of those clocks you can get, uh, those tube clocks on Amazon. You can get the clock itself for a pretty decent price, but if you get it with the tubes, you're talking upwards of a grand or more. I mean, you can get some for a little less, but I mean, since those tubes are discontinued, it's, you know, everything's old stock. I believe there is one guy, I can't think of his name, who actually makes tubes he manufactures tubes and custom tubes why can't i think of his name if anybody knows who i'm talking about uh please leave a comment below because that would be super awesome i would definitely like to check out his web page and possibly see about um see how much it would cost to get a uh, custom vacuum tube i know he has like these special lathes that he uses for glass blowing it's just a crazy process they use to make them. It's super cool though. I'm super envious of it. All right. So the next one is number 13. Hold on. That's gonna be, yep, one brown, black, gold. And that is Dratin in German. Uh, yeah, it's random. But I do have a lot of German in my blood. Okay, so what is 14, 15, 16, and 17? Is that what's next? Oh, 14 is a 68, okay. 15 is a 270k. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Blue, gray, orange. Okay. Oh, I had it backwards. Okay. Blueberry orange. Fourteen. All right, fourteen. Fifteen is a two seventy K. Red, violet, yellow. Sorry, that's red, purple, yellow. Looks like more of a violet. It's 15. That's the 270K. 15 is the 270K. All right. Oh man, I'm getting stuffed up. And 16 and 17 are 470s. Which is yellow, purple, brown. Okie dokie. Last but not least is 18, and that is a zero. A big fat zero. Ah, come on, there we go. 
doesn't matter which way this goes around because it's black just one black in the middle okay where are you at and that is where is it at where is it at everybody I can't see it can you tell me where number 18 is at once again right in front of my face right there got it okay and once again if uh, if you skip to through to this part I'm gonna remind you that for every 100 subscribers there will be a giveaway on this channel of some sort of electronic goodness whether it be a multimeter a soldering iron um, solder paste, solder flux paste, um, a really cool fun kit to put together that's for every 100 subscribers. So um, if you like the video, please think about um, subscribing. Um, please think about hitting the like button. That would help me grow this channel. As of right now, I have zero subscribers. Um, would be cool to have a couple <laughs> so I know people are at least getting something out of these videos but eh, if not it is what it is I'm having fun doing it you know and that's really what it's all about that's what it's all about we gotta do something to break up the monotony and this is what I like to do Life doesn't always have to be hard. It's always worth just taking a break, kicking back, and relaxing, and, and uh, doing some soldering or welding. I really love welding, but I can't really weld in my house at. 11 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. I suppose I could, but I don't think my better half would uh, appreciate that. And my daughter. Well, maybe they would. But I doubt it. Okay, that's it for the resistors. I always like to get the resistors out of the way. Okay, so far so good, y'all. Awesome. I think we'll do... Let's see what the directions say. Zener diodes. Okay. Awesome. Well, there's only one Xeno, so let's put that on. Now on the Xeno diode, the line right here, I don't know if you can see it, 
But the gray line, that's the cathode. Okay? The side of the line is the cathode. The other side is the anode. Okay? So you know it should be marked on here. If I can find it. There it is. Yep, see it right there. There's the line. It's pretty simple. I'll just match it up with the line. Diodes are a one way. Resistors, however, you could put them. You could put them on any way you'd like. That didn't really give much room. Oh, I gotta bend these leads much tighter. Sorry about that, folks. Bear with me here. Okay. And the Zeno's in. Woo! Okay. Now three is gonna be the diodes. And that's gonna be the first one is a 1N4007. And diode two through four is a 1N4148. So let's do the first one. Here's the one on 407. Remember, there's the line, so that's the cathode. three it's going to be diode two three and four are one n four one four eights same thing Line cathode. Black line cathode. And if you're unsure, Always look at the instructions. Okay, that's what they're there for. And if you don't have instructions, you can always Google it. <laughs> Google is awesome for that. Not for everything, but for some things. They're pretty awesome, actually. I gotta admit. Solder in our diodes. Hopefully you guys aren't too bored yet. Come on. Alright. That's 
with the tip. Beautiful. Gonna bump this solder iron up a bit. Like I said, this solder has a bit of a higher melting temperature. diodes in. next yes that's Aaron a can <laughs> um, yes I only use it for blowing off my work area that's it and what I'm working on sometimes all right so here's step four we got our capacitors okay that looks right Okay, so C2. C2, capacitor two through seven, or 100 nanofarad. All right. All right, let's see what we got here. A bag of goodies. Oh, baby. 15 amp, 125 VAC, 10 amp, 240 VDC, 10 amp SRU, 12 volt DC. Ooh, this is gonna be fun to hear this click on and off. I gotta love those.
All right. So these are the 100 nano ferrets. This is two through seven. Where are we at? C2. C3. Polarity doesn't matter on these ones. Come on, get in there. C4, heavy explosive. <laughs> Capacitor 4. Capacitor 5. Come on. Where's number six? Where's number, oh, here's number seven. <laughs> Six. Okay. Um, looks like I'm gonna have to. Oh, there's number six hiding right there by the microcontroller. Oh, come on. There you are. Almost in. Almost in. You got it. You can do it. <laughs> Come on, number six. You can do it. All right. And, and like Flynn. You know what? I am going to use some black tack for this. those babies soldered in. And I hate to blame it on me being tired because I feel like I'm copping out, but 
I am really tired doing this. I just can't sleep for some reason, so I decided to solder this up. But it was probably a bad idea because I'm getting solder bridges everywhere. I'm gonna have to clean them up. Let's get the black tech off. All right. The other side. Yes, folks, I said black tack, not blue tack. Well, where the hell do you get black tack? That's a good question. Um, you don't. Because black tack is not what you think it is. If anybody can guess what quote unquote black tech is, well, then you have guessed the riddle of the meaning of life itself, and congratulations. You have solved the world's mystery. And you get a golden star. Who wants a golden star? I do, I do. <laughs> spanky, Spanky does. Spanky wants pancakes. <laughs> okay, I'm joking. Beautiful. It's looking good, people. It's looking good. All right, well, I'm getting way too tired to finish this up. I'm going to probably uh, end up soldering an LED where a microcontroller should be and a microphone where a, a resistor should be. <laughs> All right, folks. Um, yeah, come and uh, join me for uh, video two on the on-off clap switch. If you're interested in the first one and you want to see the second one and you want to see it work and uh, see everything else soldered in it and learn a little more about it um, tomorrow, I will post the video and it'll be a little more in-depth and a little more intuitive. Uh, I apologize. I am really tired. Um, but anyhow, if uh, you liked any of it, please hit the like and uh, maybe subscribe. Think about it. Uh, that'd be great to get a couple subscribers. It might make me uh, feel more inclined to put a little more time into these videos and um, maybe do some cool giveaways. Like I said, for every 100 subscribers, I will be doing a cool giveaway of some type of electric goodie. So hopefully I will um, see some comments and some likes and some possible subscribers. All right, take care until next time. Spanky Pancakes, out.